Japan's genius snowboarder girl Melo Imai, 33-year-old roller coaster life story. Everyone knows that Marilyn Monroe died at the age of 36 at the end of her wonderful years. Are all women named Monroe destined to have a sad life? Melo Imai is a Japanese girl who was a genius snowboarder. She was born on October 26, 1987. She became the youngest professional snowboarder in Japan at the age of 12. She won the national championship at the age of 14 and represented Japan at the age of 18 in 2006. Going to Turin to compete in the Winter Olympics, Melo Imai was praised as the light of Japan. At five years old, Melo Imai who had been taught to snowboarding by her father, a well-known snowboarding instructor, had high expectations. She herself had shown full confidence about the Winter Olympics, and everything seemed to be under control. However, during that match, perhaps due to excessive pressure, Melo Imai did not perform well. She fell to the ground twice during the competition. She suffered injuries to her head and abdomen and fainted. At that time, the scene was in chaos, and a helicopter was dispatched to take her to the hospital. She encountered the Waterloo of her life. She was supposed to be a champion. But, the cruel fact is that Melo Imai ended up in last place because of this fall. She did not even go to the qualifiers, and her Olympic journey ended. This was not a simple accidental mistake, but actually inevitable. In terms of life experience, Imai Melo was born with a family mission, and then grew up carrying her father's dream. Many people only saw Melo Imai winning effortlessly on the surface, and didn't know how much she had suffered. Her father Narita Takashi was extremely harsh. Narita Takashi was a fashion photographer in Osaka, Japan, and a snowboarding instructor with a dream of an athlete. But he never became an athlete in his life, so he pinned his dreams on his three children. Melo Imai's elder brother, Narita Daman, her younger brother Narita Lumen, and herself Narita Melo, all bearing the weight of his dream. These three were forced to practice snowboarding by their father. With Melo Imai's snowboarding talent being the best of the three siblings, the father had high hopes. Originally, Melo Imai was not surnamed Imai, her surname was Narita. The reason why she changed her surname was because she could not stand the persecution of her father and broke off their relationship. Her parents divorced when she was five years old, and custody was granted to her father. The father only had training and competition in his mind, and he didn't care about the well-being of his daughter at all. As she recalled, if she didn't practice as her father said, she would be hit hard. In the third year of junior high, in order to escape the violence of her father, Mello ran away from home and chose the child protection system. During this period, her mental state began to grow unstable, and she had to go to school while being hospitalized in the psychiatric department. After Melo Imai returned to Japan after losing the game, the voices from society changed from praise to complaint. The Japanese public didn't care about Melo Imai's injury, and the mockery and abuse was overwhelming. Everyone was only looking forward to her winning the championship, and no one cared about the damage she had suffered. No one knew how much mental torment she would have to endure while training for the next game. The Japanese public had forgotten the glory this little girl once brought, and forgot that this little girl was only 18 years old, and did not forgive her for making mistakes. They all said, Melo Imai is a shame to the Japanese and to let her participate in the Winter Olympics is a waste of Japanese people's money. In addition to linguistic attacks, Japanese netizens also ruthlessly mocked her. The videos of her mistakes in the game were constantly being played upside down, mixed with curses at her. Many Japanese also began to imitate her erratic movements in the snow field, jokingly calling it an Imai stunt. Initially, Melo Imai did not give up on her career. In the second year of the Japanese national championships, she was eager to prove herself with results again. But this effort still failed, perhaps because the psychological shadow was too great. Melo had never been able to perform normally since then and only won fourth place. This young woman became famous, but fell off the pedestal and became a joke in the eyes of everyone. At this time, family comfort and encouragement are the most important, but Imai Mello did not have this warmth. Her mother was not around, and her father did not care about the mental state of his daughter, but only focused on training and competition. Overnight, the whole world was full of malice towards her. A girl who is only 18 years old, with a father who does not love her, an absentee mother, while constantly suffering verbal abuse, accusations, insults, and ridicule from the outside world all alone. How can you tell her to carry on? Imai Mello, who was on the verge of collapse, could not find comfort. She did not know how to deal with her feelings and let herself be driven by negative emotions. Mello entrusted her lost self to the nightclub cowboy. She spent money to buy drunkenness and warmth. 
Only the cowboy collecting money from her would be compassionate and listen to her when she needed it. The cowboy shielded her from all the accusations from the outside. She was drunk inside, and soon all the prize money Mello earned from her competitions was drained by cowboy. After all the money was spent, she felt hopeless in life, like an outcast. Imai Mello did not have even a penny of income, with her savings having been spent. She did not even have a 100,000 yen red envelope for a friend's wedding. But she didn't want her friends to look down on her, and in order to satisfy her vanity, she decided to go to an escort agency to be a call girl and earn quick money. In just three days, she earned 150,000 yen, about 1,373 US dollars, and quit the job after getting the money. Unexpectedly, this incident was discovered by the gossip magazine Flash, which published many widespread photos with the headline Former Olympian Becomes a Call Girl. After the scandal was exposed, Imai Mello was once again attacked by Japanese people on the internet, which put her under tremendous pressure. Her mental condition fell into extreme anxiety, and she had suicidal thoughts. Overdrinking alcohol, swallowing large quantities of sleeping pills, cutting her wrists. The number of suicide attempts was as high as 10, but she was always found and rescued in time. A series of misfortunes forced her to give up snowboarding completely. Her career plummeted, and she chose to escape into marriage. In 2010, Imai Mello got married. Her husband was not very attractive, and was a restaurant employee who was one year younger than her. After marriage, she gave birth to a son. At that time, she thought that a life as a good housewife would come as expected. But what was waiting for her was that four months after childbirth, her husband cheated on her and abandoned her. After the divorce, she had no financial resources and was reduced to nothing but welfare. The mother and son were lonely and helpless. In an orphanage, Imai Mello met her second husband. Helpless, she devoted herself to marriage for the second time. In November, 2011, she became pregnant again. The arrival of the twins should have been a happy event. But the chaotic life of indulgence in the past cost her. The fetus was born prematurely. One of the children was born with only half of his body. Faced with her husband's interrogation, she couldn't help it anymore. She confessed that she had miscarried and contracted cervical cancer. The concealment of her physical condition led to physical damage to the fetus. The husband's scolding caused their married life to deteriorate. In 2012, Imai Mello divorced again. She chose to raise her children alone. It was only at this moment that she discovered that the only one who can be trusted in this world is herself. Imai Mello did not hesitate to borrow money and spent as much as 3 million Japanese yen for plastic surgery, cutting off her double eyelids, patting her nose, and reshaping her bones. After the plastic surgery, she slowly regained her confidence. In 2012, she wrote an autobiography crying, ill, still laughing and had it published. In this autobiography, she told the outside world for the first time about her life experience in the past 10 years. When she was five years old, her parents divorced because of frequent quarrels. After the mother left, Imai washed her face of tears every day. Not only did she have nowhere to cry, but she also endured the cruel training of her father. She started playing hooky in the third year of junior high, and even snuck off to the child protection agency, hoping to get rid of her father. One day, when she was 17, three high school students followed her to an alley and raped her. This had become a trauma that could not be erased in her heart. Not only that, she also graciously appeared on television, telling of her two failed marriages, her miscarriages, and even her battles with cervical cancer. Through her autobiography and confession in front of the media, many netizens began to sympathize with this former genius now broader girl who had suffered a tragic experience. Anyway, life is already like this, and I still have a son and a daughter to raise, so I just slipped to the end. In April, 20. 13, Imai Monroe officially debuted as a porn star and began to work as a nude model. She published a photo album called Mellow Style. She became a sensational porn star in Japan, and she also wrote about her experiences on her blog. While under various spotlights, she became famous. In 2017, due to economic pressure, Imai Mello made an even more amazing move. She devoted herself to the porn industry, with the idea of getting off anyway and simply using it to make more money. She signed with an AV company called Mutiki. In May, she also launched her first AV work, Snowdrop, and then released the second AV work, Snow Out. The company used the words world-class athlete body to attract the public's attention. The former national champion was dropped to an adult video actress. In the adult entertainment circle, Imai Mello relied on her body to get rid of her financial troubles. 
Saying farewell to poverty, she ended up earning a lot of money. Just two adult movies made her a lot of money. Japanese media broke the news that Imai Monroe earned 20 million yen, about $183,000, from only two AVs. But this series of extremely crazy actions seemed to have hollowed out her heart step by step. She often felt empty and felt that life was meaningless. From a call girl to a nude model to becoming a porn actress, she fell into the abyss step by step. The Japanese people didn't know that they were the ones pushed her into that road. A major change in Imai Mello's life started from that mistake. If there was no scolding from the people at that time, would her life be a different story? From the light of Japan to the shame of Japan, Imai Mello's 30-year life seems to have been passed by others' whole lives. Her tragedy was caused by the whole of society and her family. The story of Imai Mello had completely turned into a joke in Japan. Just as everyone still wanted to see what other farce she could have burst out, Imai Mello disappeared from the public's sight. But at the 35th Fall Japan Ski Championships in 2018, people saw another familiar figure, Imai Mello was back. The 31-year-old Imai Mello, who was ridiculed as mud and reduced to pornography, once again set foot on the Snowbrotting Resort after 13 years. In the end, Imai Mello won the championship with a score of 90.75. She got 14 points higher than the second place behind her. What's even more amazing is that because she didn't have time, Imai Mello only spent four days in training. She was an older woman, yet her strength crushed many other younger players, and her score far exceeded the second place by 14 points. This kind of performance stunned everyone. They seemed to have seen the girl galloping on the snowy road again. This girl who had been given public praise since she was a child had fulfilled the dream in such an extremely tragic way. She also returned to the Japanese national team with this proud achievement. Imai Mello said that snowbrotting enabled her to reach the peak of her life, and because of it, she fell to the bottom of her life. But after the fall, she never got up again. Instead, she dug pits one after another, buried herself, trying to escape everything. She said that she had escaped for too long and it was time to get back up. She said to herself, only when you step on a snowbrotting can you bring yourself back and apologize for the absurd things you have done in the past. Speaking of the future, Imai Mello expressed her desire to participate in the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. I lost many things I wanted, and hoped to get them back one by one through the competition. She said, I hope to return to the world of snowbrotting. I will pay more attention to it in the future and try not to get involved in any more pornography-related things. Imai Mello went from the acclaimed light of Japan to the deepest hole in her life and turned into the shame of Japan that everyone mocked. It didn't take much time, but to get up again, she took more than 10 years. Now, Imai Mello is a snowbrotting instructor and a professional athlete, engaging in a profession that she likes. I wish her a better and better life in the future, and for happiness to knock on her door. Regardless of whether she can win the championship in the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, a person who works hard for her dream and a person who knows how to return from such a dark place should be worthy of admiration. Thanks for watching, please support by subscribe it, we have more to come, have a nice day.